tricky one to deal with there from Goldson. Oh, and he's in real trouble here, Butland. And Malida fires it off the post. Well, what a sigh of relief from Jack Butland that that did not end up in the back of his own net. They certainly wouldn't have been celebrating if this went in. This was not particularly good play. It's good from Hibbs, the pressure they're putting on. You can see it's that second touch. Butland's not able to get out his feet. And it allows Malida to put him under serious pressure. That's a slice of good fortune there for Rangers that that has not ended up in the, the back of their net. Here's this opportunity again. So close for Hibbs and Malida. Jordan Abita just coming across to cover the run of Dessers, but he's got himself into trouble here. Serial Dessers, Abita trying his hardest, it's still Dessers though, and Marshall comes up to bail out his left back. Well, it's poor play from Abita. He's in command, he should be in control here. He doesn't play that ball initially, and then when Dessers is on the inside, he should never be looking to play it. It's a lovely little check back from Dessos just here he shouldn't be playing that at that stage this little check here from Dessos lovely play but he's not able to find the net Tavernier has support from Sterling Dujon Sterling goes down under the challenge and the penalty is given Jordan Abita who got out of jail just moments ago Looks to have clipped Dujon Sterling, and Rangers have a penalty kick. Well, I'm not sure that he clips him, it's just clumsy and he falls on the back of them, but is it a case that Sterling just feels the contact and goes over? Do you know, it's a difficult one. Do you know what? Well, the check is complete from Stephen Kirkland and Daniel McFarland on VAR, and Stephen McLean can confirm his original decision, Rangers have a penalty, and James Tavernier will step up. James Tavernier, it's saved by Marshall, following in is Lundstrom, and Rangers have the goal! The hunger from Lundstrom! Penalty saved by Marshall, but there was Lundstrom to open the scoring in Leith. Well, it's a sore one for Hibbs. But you've got to credit John Lundstrom for being alert and bundling it into the back of the net. It's just sheer desire from the Rangers midfielder. Difficult for David Marshall as well, coming up with a big save. It's not a particularly great penalty kick. You can see, good save, but look at that desire from Lundstrom. He nicks it in front of Joe Newell. It looks like Lundstrom has timed his run perfectly there, so it didn't look like any encroachment. No, I think you're right. Just a yard or so behind the line and he can start his run. And he nicks in in front of Joe Newell. Emiliano Marcondes gets the dip, gets the curl. Butland flying across his goal to punch it clear. And Suter with a firm header up to halfway see the Rangers goalkeeper, he's got plenty distance to be able to see it coming, moves his feet and gets across well, it's a comfortable save in the end for Jack Butland. It's Tavernier, down goes Rabi Matondo, and in a tussle with the beater, the play is stopped, Goldson now asks the question of Stephen McLean, who is going to his pocket, and Jordan Abita is going to receive a second yellow card here, and Hibernian are down to 10 men, they've lost their left back, and with that, are their Scottish Cup hopes fading? You can see here, Matondo plays it off. That is not a yellow cut, I mean, that is ludicrous refereeing. And as I said, VAR can't get involved. That is an absolute nonsense, certainly from that first wide angle. Here is Newell. And sliding in is Mariah Wells, he could be in trouble here, it is a red card for Nathan Mariah Wells. And Hibernian have lost the plot here, he lunged in, I have to say he looked out 
of control there. Bernie and Bench are not happy at all with the decision from Stephen McLean. Well, it's a silly, silly challenge. Stupid from Mariah Well. She dives in. He jumps in. I think he comes down the side of Loons from here. For me, it's a stupid tackle. Is it a red card, though? No. Personally, because it, it, there's, there's more than enough there to constitute VAR sticking with the red card. Matondo. Tavernier. Lundstrom. Fabio Silva gets it onto his right foot and finishes it. Game over. Rangers are heading to Hampden Park. It's going to be a victory in the capital. He sees that gap and fires it into Fabio Silva, who does wonderfully well just to check inside and find the bottom corner. But that's exactly what Rangers needed to do. They didn't force it. They kept the ball. The probing, side to side, stretch the opposition and then puncture the defence. And it's a great finish from Fabio Silva once he gets in there. He does exactly what Hibs have not done all afternoon when they're in those areas. It's Tavernier straight into the wall, comes back to him, good hit. Hit Fabio Silva and McKinnon will knock it in, but the flag will go up to delay the celebrations and Stephen McLean brings an end to the Scottish Cup quarter-final in the capital and it certainly was a fiery encounter between Hibernian and Rangers but it's Philippe Clement's side who march on to the semi-finals to be played next month